What's good? It's your boy Fanon. All right, man. I'm going to do a video today discussing that something was said by Spencer Fearden from MTK Global, a media personality in the out, out in the UK. See him on a lot of different. He was on an interview with the Boxing Voice this morning, and he gave reasons why he thought that the major fights that are going to happen in the heavyweight division are not going to happen until the year 2021. Specifically, he said 18 months, but 18 months from now is what uh, the year it is the 10th month of 2020. So suffice it to say that that more than likely is going to roll up into 2021, given a, you know, give or take a couple months. Right. So <laughs> I'm going to talk about what his logic was in that. But mostly I'm going to talk about some of the ridiculous things this guy said in this interview with the boxing voice that just I really because he mentioned the LDBC specifically. I know now that this is a guy, one of these UK guys that probably or his friends that come by channels trolling people for giving their opinion because he literally trolled in the middle of this interview with the boxing voice. So I'm going to go through that. I'm going to talk about what he said about Eddie Hearn, what he said about the LDBC, what he said about Joshua Fury. And I'm going to break down what he said and give my response to that because, I mean, I, I just can't. And shout out to Chev and Body uh, for giving me the information forward to me the boxing voice interview very good interview man boxing voice does great work if you're not subscribed to the boxing voice subscribe to the boxing voice uh and so let me get into that but before i do i want to welcome you back to the channel and if you are not subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of when we release more videos we do our best live stream of the week on sunday mornings 8 a.m central standard time og boxing talk with myself blood boxing who was mentioned in this video he, uh, him and blue blood sports tv were both mentioned in the in this video i think his tongue was tripping on each other to say blood blue blood anyway blood is on my channel every uh saturday sunday morning 8 a.m and also check out the patreon time okay so first let me tell you uh what i'm gonna say to this to spencer <laughs> spencer call you spencer Man, you're an idiot. At least you sounded like an idiot in this interview you gave to the boxing voice. And not, you know, not unintelligent. Not unintelligent. But so over the top in the pocket of your employer that it's clearly obvious in, 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 do, in, in defending your boss's point of view you say some of the most ridiculous things like people hate on it. People hate on Eddie Hearn. You don't like Eddie Hearn, you know, but people no, you're not a fan of Eddie Hearn, but people hate on Eddie Hearn because he's successful. Right. And then you go on to quote Meyer Lansky and this quote that he has his famous quote. It's not business. It's just personal. Then you go on to talk about how the heavyweights are not going to fight for 18 months because of all of the networks that are involved and all the money that's paid to them. And unless there's some big rich guy, rich, uh, rich person that's going to come in and swoop down and make that fight, that those fights are going to happen because fighters now are following the Mayweather model where they wait and wait and wait and see, you know, if they can build it up and get the biggest fight they can possibly get. And then you go on to say something about waiting to see what Josh, Anthony Joshua's star power is going to translate into the United States. And lastly, but I think in the midst of talking about Tyson Fury having beaten Deontay Wilder, and you don't care what all these black power, blood boxing, blue, block, blue blood sports TV channels have to say about it, uh, Tyson Fury lost, uh, Deontay Wilder lost, right? You know, those are the things you talk about. And those are the things I'm and I'm going to talk about them in those orders and, and pretty much in that order. Just so you know, I listened. I listened to you. And since you said, you know, you don't care what LDBC people lit, talk to. I figure you're one of those trolls in the comment section or closely connected to some of the trolls in the comment section. So maybe some of these trolls in the comment section can go tell you to stop trolling. However, let's get this right. 
As it relates to the LDBC and people in the United States, people do not hate on Eddie Hearn because he's successful. Al Heyman is, I'm just going to go up, just, you know, throw a guesstimation out there and say, and what is Al Heyman? Maybe 10 times as successful as uh, Eddie Hearn is? Maybe 10? I think he was in the two top, two of the top 10 The top two pay-per-views, monetary pay-per-views ever done were PBC pay-per-views in Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus um, uh, Conor McGregor. He got a $200 million deal and all of those other hundreds of million dollars Manny uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. did. Al Heyman is the manager, is the manager and the advisor of Floyd Mayweather Jr., who has made more money than probably every matchroom boxer has in their career combined in a night. Okay, so people don't, I'm not hating on, I'll speak for myself. Other people in the LDBC can speak for themselves. I'm not hating on Al Heyman. I'm not hating on Eddie Hearn because he's unsuccessful, because he's successful. I have no problem with people being successful. I I relish in the fact I'm not that insecure a person where I can't be happy for people succeeding. I don't like him because he is a because he is a um petulant child. He's a liar and he acts like a petulant child who can't show enough respect for people than to call him by their actual name. I've caught the dude in lie after lie after lie after lie and went the one time in two years that I can find that the guy actually spoke the truth, the the next two days after that, his father, the chairman of Matchroom Boxing, refers to the contracts that he's had with boxers in the past and presently because he's talking about contracts that are not on fight by fight basis, but fights that are uh, but uh, deals that are long term as slave contracts, and that he was a slave trader. Not too long, maybe a year after Eddie Hearn walks across, talks about his DAZN deal, talking about it's going to be the biggest transatlantic deal uh, ever. His transatlantic deal, which is the exact terminology that was used for the transatlantic slave trade. Spencer, that's why people don't like him. That's why people in the LDBC don't like why I don't like him. It ain't got nothing to do. It has nothing to do with him being successful. Nothing. It has something to do with him being a chrono- a pathological liar. And it has something to do with him being petulant, insulting, belittling, and just generally somebody that I that I that I listen to and I just want to turn the recording off right away. That's why people don't like Eddie Hearn. I've never heard anything that Al Heyman has ever said. I have no problem with Eddie or Eddie Hearn. I mean with uh Al Heyman. And Al Heyman is a tremendously successful person. I don't have any problem with Bob Arum. Uh, the fact that Bob Arum was is financially successful. I got a problem with the fact that he limits the financial success of his boxers. But regardless, that's why, just to correct you, that's why people don't like Eddie Hearn. It has nothing to do with his success. And then to quote Meyer Lansky, look, man, every time you wear, just because you're wearing a suit, don't, I mean, dog, don't make you, <laughs> let me put it this way. Every time I see somebody wearing a suit and tie for, that doesn't, that isn't literally going into court or have some reason that they have to do it, right? Everybody, half the room, that half of the people in the room are wearing uh, sweatpants, but you're in a suit and tie. That makes me feel like, you know, you trying to impress somebody. But when you So that's the first thing that kind of put me off about him a little bit. But admittedly, there are some people that just like wearing suits and ties when it's not necessary. But to quote Meyer Lansky, Meyer Lansky said, it's just business, nothing personal. And you quoted him. Meyer Lansky is a murdering thief. I wonder if the people that died as a result uh, uh, that died as a result of the gang warfare that was going on at the time uh, in in the uh, during prohibition. I wonder if they thought it was personal. I wonder if the little kids. I wonder if the little kids that came home and their parents, when their dad and mother were missing, thought it was personal. Only a sociopath thinks that business is not personal. Only a sociopath would say 
well, you know, we've got plenty of money here to replace these this pi- these pipes in, in Flint, Michigan that, that are that's leaking lead into the water, little kids uh, drinking water and bath water. And people are dying. Uh, people are dying of cancer left, right, front and center. Uh, but, you know, it's not in the budget. Yeah, we got the money, but we're going to spend it on some other things because, you know, it's strictly business. It's nothing personal. Don't quote sociopaths, OK, because if you quote a sociopath, that makes people believe that you respect sociopaths. And since you are the type of person that would respect sociopaths, maybe that explains why you would that, why you would uh, respect a pathological liar that refers to dealings, business dealings with black with black people, the descendants of descendants of slaves as a transatlantic deal. And his father referring to it as a slave trade. Maybe that's why you can just brush that aside. Because like Matt Meyer Lansky, Meyer Lansky, you don't have a problem looking up to sociopaths. Next, the Black Wilder, the, the Wilder lost. That's the easiest thing. No, he didn't. It was a draw. Go look in box rec. And tell, tell Tyson Fury next time not to get knocked down twice. That's how boxing works, dog. That's how boxing works. The judges judge. And you can say you don't care all you want to say you don't care, but it's not changing it. Tyson Fury didn't Tyson Fury did not win that fight. That is a objective fact, an objective fact. And secondly, he didn't take the rematch. And you brag in the same in, in the same um, interview that it's MTK Global, the people that pay you that that got the deal done for. Tyson Fury to go to ESPN to duck out of that fight. Huh? Nice little coincidence, huh, Spencer? Lastly, the black power stuff. Okay. I find it so funny that cats that wouldn't even have their job if it wasn't for uh, the black power people. Yeah, just so willy nilly throw that term out. Right. But you wouldn't even have a job. All right. If it wasn't for the people, if it wasn't for the people that were associated with the social economic uh, movements for black people in America, you wouldn't even have a job. They wouldn't hire you. They'd hire their cousins. They wouldn't hire you as a middleman to buddy up with black boxers in there in the UK. If you if it wasn't for black people uh, insisting that there were black faces on TV, that there were other black people on TV, that black people's money was used and go to other black people. That they, if it wasn't for people saying, look, I'm a boxing fan. I'm a subscriber for H to HBO. I want to know why HBO will not prominently feature people like Deontay Wilder, why they won't predominantly feature Anthony, uh, uh, Andre Ward. Why won't they do this? This is my money, which leads it means directly into this next point that you made about you wonder how Anthony Joshua's star power is going to translate into the United States with people like you and Eddie Hearn and Barry Hearn. It's not because you obviously, even though you can listen to the internet, you don't must not realize that people also can hear you. People support Deontay Wilder, man, because Deontay Wilder is an American, just like all that xenophobic crap. I listen to you spew about all these guys that were really going to that you think what you really don't think are going to add going to give tough fights to Anthony Joshua like like um, Andy Ruiz and Michael Hunter and guys that don't nobody, even though I don't mind the Andy. I don't mind the Andy Ruiz fight, but I find it mighty ironic that it's a PBC fighter that they that they put in there against him, right? Anyway, so you know that's what that is. But you know, listen to half of the fans that would probably follow follow guys like this. They act like like Al Heyman's hiding his fighters from him, and then to excuse it with the Floyd Mayweather and how everybody's following the Floyd Mayweather model. Floyd Mayweather is successful because of the black demographic in the United States standing up for him and supporting him when 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 for years and years and years years and years and years Bob Arum top ranking HBO would not feature him and and by the way Mike uh Floyd Mayweather did not wait his time and not fight tough guys before he got to that level Spencer that's not even true Floyd Mayweather Jr. fought tough fight after tough fight after tough fight after tough fight after tough fight. All the way till he was in his 30 wins. And then he got a shot against Arturo Gotti. 
And when he got a shot against Otoro Gotti and and Oscar De La Hoya was no longer with top. I don't even think he was with top rank at the time. Then he got the Oscar De La Hoya. He, then he got the Oscar De La Hoya fight. He did not blow up like that until he got away from a promoter like Eddie Hearn. So, dog, just just stop. Just it's it's stop. And honestly, man, shame on you. Shame on you. You don't have to dude. Is that what you got to do over there to get a paycheck, man? Because people say that all to me. Oh, you know, what's it? You're on the PBC's payroll? No, I'm not on the PBC payroll, but I know you on MTK Global's payroll saying that nonsense. Anyway, it is what it is. That's my response to this foolishness. This guy, go check out the interview on the Boxing Voice. Terrible, 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 man. Anyway, it is what it is. And with that, I'm out.